hey what's going on my friends in this video i just want to make sure all of my people out there all of you who have subscribed to my channel and maybe you are a new viewer here on my youtube channel if you are new definitely subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell then you'll be up to date on all of my latest videos and new videos as well but i want to make sure that all of you guys out there understand the ppp the paycheck protection program that the small business administration has rolled out technically is not all out of funding all right my friends and i, I want to make sure i throw this really quickly into the mix somewhere in here at the beginning but make sure you guys stick around at least until the end or middle you know somewhere towards the end because i do want to let you know about the answer that i was given when i reached out to my contact over at wampley about the ppp loan so definitely keep watching. The titles here on YouTube and online on the internet are a little misleading. There is still a little money left in this PPP Paycheck Protection Program that can support some of you out there who are watching this video. And maybe you aren't someone who would qualify. You might know someone who could qualify. You might be friends or have a relative with someone who potentially still could qualify. So make sure you watch this video and make sure you share this video because again, it would be unfortunate if someone you knew, someone that you were tight with, someone in your family that could benefit from this program missed out on it because they were under the impression because they watched one of these videos you know whether it was from max saying the ppp out of funding and the titles again i get it titles are what people generally just make a conclusive decision or thought based off of the title but if they listen to max or and i haven't watched any of these other videos so i don't know what exactly they're saying but from the title of all of these it seems as if okay the ppp is all over there's no more money left i have no chance However, if you, like I said, I know, I know in Max's video at the top here, he does mention some of the important details and information, which some of these other gentlemen probably do as well, or individuals. Um, yeah, it's a gentleman here as well. Again, it, the title is what a lot of people would just jump to a conclusion about. In this particular title, it says SBA's PPP has run out of funding, but they made a conscious effort to say within the title, unless you apply with this kind of lender giving you a heads up that wait there is still a chance and i want to share this with you you know uh business journals um it is a paid i believe all of their articles and their whole platform or whatnot is all a paid subscription so a lot of you guys might not have access to this and may have fallen under the impression along with many people who commented on my other video where i reported where i, I don't think i was the first one to break it out maybe max and some of those other people may have released their videos first talking about sba running out of money however on that same video a lot of people were commenting saying oh it's all done there's no more money even in that video i specifically share some of the information that i'm going to share here with you guys now but i did also reach out to a contact that i have over at wampley where i had a particular question for her and two questions but one that i'll review with you guys and she was able to answer my question and basically give me some hope and help me understand that a lot of you guys out there still have a chance and she didn't really wasn't really much to explain and she didn't really help me understand it i already knew what it was but she just confirmed what i was hoping was the case but really quickly, I'm not going to read this whole article. Um, I will leave a link to it down below. Again, I think you do have to have a paid subscription with them to read the whole thing. But I just want to read this beginning portion where it says the Small Business Administration's Paycheck Protection Program has officially exhausted its funds for most lenders. Not for all, for most. The SBA began notifying trade associations Tuesday evening that it was no longer accepting applications for new loans from most lenders. Not all, for most. But there is still a way to get new PPP loans, and that is through what the SBA calls a community financial institution, which includes community development financial institutions, minority deposit institutions, and other qualifying small lenders. Those lenders have access to about $8 billion in loan funding as part of a congressional mandated set aside. That means PPP loans in progress that have not yet received received SBA loan numbers will not be approved unless they come from a community financial institution. 
So this information is good because I think a lot of people need to hear this again and just have it being clearly said the way that it said it here. PPP loans in progress that have not yet received SBA loan numbers will not be approved unless they come from a community financial institution. Let me read this portion here. It says they already shut down the portal for applications. We had a conversation with SBA over the past couple of days and they went through the numbers with Congress and went through the numbers with us and funds for all but community financial institutions have been exhausted. Now, this last little portion here, it says PPP loans that are being held up by so-called hold codes and require additional information will still be funded as the SBA has set aside about $6 billion for those loans, according to Tuesday's bulletin by the American Bankers Association. I think most businesses are going to find the window has closed on PPP application. Congress isn't even in session this week to do anything about it. And so, like I said, it looks like they have about $14 billion left to pretty much help support small businesses, those that are, again, coming from community financial institutions, including minorities. Now, I don't know if this is saying by community fi development financial institutions, minority deposit institutions, and other qualifying small lenders. I don't know if this is specifically saying, hey, it's just for women and uh, minorities, women-owned businesses and minorities, or if it's just saying it's just for minorities, or if it's supposed to be like, you know, veterans and minorities and women-owned businesses, maybe. Uh, like, I don't really understand like, the full-on criteria of who would still qualify can joe schmo go and apply at a community development financial institution maybe it's a normal white guy no issues or anything like those are the things i don't fully have a complete understanding of i mean i think everyone could kind of draw a conclusion on minority deposit institutions things like that but you know and other qualifying small lenders those other small lenders what exactly does that entail who exactly does that include that is kind of where some of the question still lies but the clear thing is there is still some money left the ppp is not completely done for all of you out there who are under the impression that it's completely done maybe for you maybe you won't qualify unfortunately for it but it's not completely done for everyone there's still money out there they've as i just read to you guys as you guys can see and as you just heard they have set aside a couple of billions of dollars for specific people and individuals but then also as you see down here the hold codes so loans that are being held up by so-called hold codes and require additional information will still be funded as the SBA has set aside about $6 billion for those loans. So as you guys can see, I sent over this email to my point of contact over at Wompley asking, is Wompley working with any minority based lenders? And the answer I was given today, again, this video might be posted Friday. So either way, um, the answer I was given is, hi Ace, we do have several CDFI and MDI lenders in our network and we are continuing to accept applications at this time. So for all of you out there who think there's no more money left in the PPP, that is not true. There are some lenders, there are some institutions that do have money left. Yes, you can still apply for it. If you happen to be working with one of those particular lenders, then you can use my link down below through Wompley where you can be potentially connected with one of those lenders that still have a shot to get some of this PPP small business money. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know that this whole everything with the SBA and the PPP and the SBA and the EIDL can be a little complicated, overwhelming, and especially when there's so much news out there and people just see that header, the headline, and oftentimes, you will get the impression that something is completely done, completely over. You have no shot. You don't have a chance. Don't even try. Like you're not going to get it. But that's not always the case. And sometimes despite the naysayers, despite those that think they know everything, I certainly don't know everything, but I try to do my best to look for legit, accurate news and information. And sometimes, as you can see here, I will reach out to some of my point of contacts to get an update from them if they might have some information that I don't have. And as you guys can see, Wompley does have several CDFI and MDI lenders in their network, and they are continuing to accept applications at this time. So shoot your shot, my friends. The only way you're going to have a chance 
only way you have a shot to get any of that money up to twenty thousand eight hundred and thirty three dollars for free essentially only way you're gonna have a chance to get any of that is if you shoot your shot you gotta try you gotta apply hit the link down below in the description area and um shoot your shot my friends good luck it's running out clearly but uh there's still a little money left for some of you so I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest videos. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me watching this video. And uh, yeah, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions, any thoughts, any suggestions. Hey, I'm just the messenger. I'm just the middleman, as you guys see. And from the research I've shared with you from the, some of these other articles and whatnot, there's still money out there. So shoot your shot, my friends. The only way you can get it is if you try. On that note, I got to keep it moving. But you guys already know, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.